The Nudge Unit was created in 2010 to try and introduce more realistic models of human behaviour into government and public policy. So we're in the business of trying to get people to pay their tax on time or get them back to work faster or help kids in improve their pass rates. By often what seem like quite small changes but are basically built on behavioural science. Right, for many people, certainly my generation, when you learn to drive, you learn the highway code. But of course, if you go back to 1910, that hadn't been developed. And one of the things, roads didn't have markings. So this was Dead Man's Corner. Between 1910 and 1920, there's like a, a tenfold increase in the number of motor vehicles. And they come around the corner and keep hitting each other. So one guy had this idea. In fact, he was following a leaking milk truck, which was leaving his trail down the middle of the road. And he gave him this good idea. Hey, that's pretty neat, isn't it? So they literally went out and painted, hand-painted this line with a big arrow. And hey, presto, it's really effective. But you might think of it as an everyday example of a nudge. It's not a big incentive or a law or something. It's just like, here's a really good idea, guys. Why don't you go this way? And like, of course, once people are doing that, you kind of follow each other, as we'll see. And similarly, you know, today, when you're slightly drifting asleep on the motorway um, and you hit the rumble strip and it goes, wakes you up, actually, that's a good example of a nudge, right? It's a very light touch way of prompting human behavior. Well, if it's such a good tool and it works for this, why wouldn't it work for other things? It turns out it does. Behavioural science is throwing out lots of these quite specific examples that can be used in many domains. Productivity, for example. Well, what is it that businesses can do to increase their productivity? We know that actually financial incentives don't always work very well. You're much better off actually for most people just saying, yeah, you did a great job. Give positive, constructive responding. But behavioural science through sort of systematic testing has also thrown out some really interesting surprises. So if you give someone a small financial incentive but with a twist, which is you have to spend it on someone else, then you get significant increases in productivity. And why is that? It's because if you have to get something for someone else in the firm, you have to find out more about them. So it improves communication. And also it feels really good to give something to someone else. And if you increase well-being in the workplace, you also increase productivity. We use this framework called EAST. So if you want to affect human behavior, think about these four basic things. Easy. How can you make something as easy as possible? You want someone to do something, reduce friction. Um, that might seem very straightforward, but classic economic models have ignored that terribly. Attractive, how do you break through someone's attention? That can be very simple things, personalizing a note, an email. Social, we're incredibly influenced by what other people are doing, not by what the rules are. So a lot of companies, for example, have lots of rules and so do governments, they often don't work very well. In contrast, you say, well, what are most other people doing? So you say, well, most people pay their bill on time, much more likely than people will do that. The last one is timely. You have to work out when are people responsive. So a lot of the time we sort of do things on autopilot and you really want to look out for when is behavior being disrupted for some other reason. And that's the moment at which you can help someone make a, a change or encourage them to do so. And so EAST is a very simple framework you can think about both in your own behavior or particular projects or what you're trying to achieve in relation to the world.